Yeah, my name is Justin Woodward. I am the founder, co-founder of The Mix, the Media Indie Exchange. Uh, and we put on events, uh, showcases, and publicity for independent game developers. Um, large and small, we help them get publishers, we help them get publicity through press. We work with IGN, Kotaku, Polygon, GameSpot, Twitch, Steam. We make sure to get visibility, uh, discoverability for developers, and we also develop our own games. So the whole the whole reason we do this is for the development culture. Like we, I, I'm a developer myself, been in the business for 15 years, uh, and and noticed that there's a gap between developers who are making games and them actually releasing their games, getting financing for their games, and then marketing their games in general. So we put on showcases. A lot of them are. Uh, B2B and press related, but sometimes we partner with folks like the LA Comic Con to put on, you know, a showcase on the show floor. So we've done that at PAX, we've done that here, GDC, uh, other uh, events, like different types of Comic Cons, but typically we'll have online showcases where we'll have like 30 to 60 games. Uh, and then partner with some of the folks that I've mentioned before, sometimes PlayStation and Xbox, in order to release exclusive trailers, gameplay reveals, and interviews with developers. So it's great because here we have some publishers, developers, there's like amazing prolific developers who actually are own, owning like big independent studios that are here on the show floor that people could come and interact with. So it's not representations or representatives from a larger publisher, it's the developers themselves who are making the game. So they're able to get uh, an idea of how the, the sausage is made, so to speak. Right. Yeah. Well, that's really great because then we also get a better understanding of how, you know, everything kind of works. Because we only know a lot of times the big games and we want to yeah. see, you know, how everything kind of works from start to finish. Yeah. And a lot of times it's hard to also get the money to develop the game. So we kind of see how everything works, which is really great. Yeah. Um, so do you guys have any new games that you're developing that are coming out soon or? so one of some of the games that we're developing we're developing a game with kevin smith called jan silent bob chronic plump punch Love that. it's been in development forever and we've released a game previously two years ago uh called jan silent bob mall brawl which was an eight-bit brawler this one's all hand-drawn art animation it's like marvel vs. capcom mm -hmm. meets streets of rage and Final Fight, really great, explosive game, mature game, of course, but uh, very emotive. And then we also have Rugrats, which is on the other spectrum of mature, obviously. And that's an 8-bit Nintendo game that we're working with Nickelodeon on. And also has hand-drawn art, so you can actually flip it from SD, like, uh, pixel art to HD hand-drawn art. And that will actually be released on the Nintendo, like the actual cartridge. And released cross-platform Nintendo Switch, PS5, Xbox Series, uh, so you could kind of get a taste of something bigger. So that the idea behind that one is it's a multiplayer couch co-op. The kids can play. <laughs> the parents who follow the, the show back in the day can play. They can play together. And the retro fans, mostly the parents, will play the buy the NES game as a collector's uh, edition and get to play that. But then with their kids, they can play buy it digitally or physically uh, for to see the HD version and play retro too. Well, I'm not going to lie. I actually signed up to come over and see the Rugrats one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. I was like, it looks so cute. It's I want to so play cute. it. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. We also uh, published a game called Kung Fury, which is based off the the Netflix independent movie. Oh, okay. Uh, and that one is uh, also like a, a street brawl style game. And that came out earlier this year. So that's available on all platforms. Oh, cool. And we're looking now to, to, to get it, uh, to publish it on mobile. And that type of thing. People are going crazy. I know. Here. No, this is uh, great. I mean, look, yeah. at the end of the day, I love all kinds of games. And it's just, again, nice to see some of these fun, even the 8-bits, but also the brawler games. Yeah. I, I grew up in arcades. Yeah, me so too. So I would yeah. play, like, we were talking about it, Ninja Turtles and yeah. all of those were like, oh, God, I'm yeah. aging myself, but whatever. It's fine. And a lot of the folks here worked on those games. Like, that so Tony, right. Tony worked on Madden, oh. like the old school. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, and that's great. The first Need for Speed. And uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other games. We have some amazing creators kind of in this area. 
Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. All right, but thank you so yes. much. I appreciate.